Rap is the music producers. It's Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com. And as I'm looking through this book, I have to tell you, I have one question that I think can be the cure to anyone out there experiencing a frustrating music career. <laughs> AKA everybody, let's talk about it. Rappers and music producers, we all get into a freaking rut. We all get to a place, even people who are successful, get to a place where they found success in something and finally, finally got their fingers wrapped around some success in their music. You finally get in some beat sales. You finally got a placement. You finally got a song that started getting traction on your SoundCloud, on your Spotify. You're finally starting to get a streaming check that's a little bit more than rent, whatever it is. You're finally starting to grasp it, but you just not able to push over that particular level. You're frustrated. You're dealing with people within the industry who say they're gonna do things for you and they never show up. You're working with other artists and other producers and not delivering the things that they said they would. The hell is your problem, right? That's the question you're asking. The hell is a problem? Why can't you be as urgent as I? I have a question that I feel is going to cure this frustration or at least start to help you cure that music frustration, that music career frustration. What am I expecting? That's it, Curtis. It cannot be that easy. What is my expectation is the question. There's a book that I've been reading that, man, I, I, I look, look at the title. It's not about masturbation, I promise you. But <laughs> there's a section in here where my man's Gary John Bishop speaks the gospel. And he says, talking about in life, your problems don't derail you. Your hidden expectations do. The point here is that expectation of how life should be doesn't do you any good. You're actually more winded by the whack your expectations took than the situation itself. And that's the deal with expectations. They blow things out of proportion and dilute your power to deal with issues effectively and powerfully. When things don't go according to plan, you're not hurt by that particular occurrence. You're hurt by it not meeting your expectations. Disappointment happens every day. If you play cell phone games, you're not going to win every single cell phone game on your smartphone. You just, that's just not going to happen. Somebody cuts you off in traffic. That is fam, this stuff that happens every day. Disappointment happens every day. Frustration happens every day. What's the ultimate issue though? The bigger problem is that it didn't meet your expectations. That's that's what actually hurts. That's what is sort of that dark feeling inside of your stomach when something happens. And you're like, why can I not get rid of this? It's because that situation did not meet your expectation. And so as I do, I've made many of videos where I talk about I have these epiphanies in traffic. I started realizing, I was trying to think about it like, okay, could it really be that easy? Is that why I've been frustrated with certain things because it didn't meet my expectations? Because it can't be that easy. So then I'm sitting in traffic and as people do, maybe it's because I have a gray car. I don't know something about gray cars. I like to cut them off because I I had a Kia Soul before and I got a Kia Forte and they be like, cut, whatever. They cut me off and I'm like, fam, what the hell? And I'm starting to get angry. I'm getting real mad, like mad, like, ooh, I wanna go say something to him. And then I'm like, ask the question, Curtis, what is my expectation of this driver? I am expecting them to drive like a normal human being. I am expecting them to drive with the same responsibilities that I drive with and I'm expecting them to respect my space. Really, Curtis, is that what you're expecting of that complete stranger? Do you expect everybody in life to do things just like you because that's probably an expectation that is not going to be met and if it's not going to be met that is going to derail me as this book says right here it's going to derail me and I believe that and so I started asking questions to myself when I felt myself getting angry about something or getting frustrated or just getting agitated because it's not going according to plan I started asking myself what is my expectation? And I'm telling you, ask the same question when you're dealing with these situations. This rapper said that he was gonna pay me on Friday and I have to have that money because I need it for rent. And he said he's gonna pay me on Friday. So he's gonna send it to my PayPal, I'll give him all the information and now I'm texting him and he's not hitting me back. What was your expectation of that rapper? That he would handle business in a responsible way? That he would handle business in the same way that you would? As you start to say these things, you realize how ridiculous, I hope you do, how ridiculous that 
that expectation is of every single human being. I'm not telling you to be passive. I'm not telling you to let everything go. By all means, go get your bread, fam. Go, go get your bread. I'm not telling you not to do that, but what I'm saying is be realistic about what the actual problem is. That person not paying you, it's not the problem. It's your expectation that they will. If you can control that, you are in control of the situation. But if you are constantly texting somebody, you're constantly calling them, you're on Twitter seeing if they tweet it in the last 12 hours, if you're doing all that, trying to go find them, them, they are controlling your time. You're not in control of your time no more. They're controlling your day. They're controlling your ability to make money. You're allowing them to control all of that. And that expectation is going to derail you because it goes into different aspects of your life. Stop the expectations. Ask yourself, what is the expectation of the situation? Rappers, you're working with an engineer and they promise, look, I'm gonna get you these mixes tonight. I'm gonna get you a rough mix in the next hour and that hour pass and then the next day pass and you gave them a pass for that and then the next day came. Engineer, what the f I'm paying you money. I gave you, I, I expect because I paid you money, okay? I paid you this green piece of paper that you're going to do your job. Well, do you think that everybody abides by the same rules? No, they don't. So save yourself the poison that occurs when your blood and your chemicals start going once you, your blood starts boiling. Like when you start to get so angry, I made a video about this before. When you get angry and the person not even, they're not even in the same building. They might even be in the same state if they owe you a whole lot of money, but they're not even there your blood is boiling all this stuff is happening to you internally they said that when you're angry do you know that if i were to cut your 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 hand and drop some of that blood when you're angry into a spoon and feed it to a pig that pig will die that pig is bacon family <coughs> that pig is a ham Yes, it's done for because the chemical of anger is so toxic from ingestion. So imagine what it's doing to your own body because of one word, expectations. I need you to come back to earth. I need you to come back and have a real conversation about every situation. I know it sounds ridiculous, but get in the habit of doing it now. I'm doing it and I'm telling you, it's stopping me from going off the edge in a lot of situations and it's actually making me laugh at myself to where I'm like, this person pushed a cart in front of me at the supermarket and I could tell she probably don't like my kind too much but she pushed the cart in front of me and I was just like what was my expectation that she was was going to be as perfect as my grandma no <laughs> hell no nah. you're gonna be perfect as my grandma rest in peace I love you grandma that's oh. that's not a realistic expectation so instead of applying that pain to myself that frustration to myself instead of blood boiling myself and changing the chemicals within myself I change my expectations I look at her and I say you know what I'm more empathetic for you because if you would do this to a complete stranger, I can't imagine what you do to the people that you love. I can't imagine the amount of pain you must be going through to even address me like that. Curtis, you on that Zen stuff again, man. You, you just got a different heart. No, I don't. I got the same heart as you. The difference is that I stopped letting my expectations hurt me. Because a lot of us are convinced that those expectations are hurting someone else or it's somebody else inflicting pain upon us. No, it's us. We're the main culprits of it. Ask yourself the next time you feel yourself getting frustrated, What's my expectation? Start seeing the ridiculous nature of a lot of our expectations and be honest with yourself. In this life, you would not be full of life until you decided to life to its fullest. Curtis King, the leading voice of the online music producer and rapper community. Don't at me. Peace. Please subscribe to the channel below. Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com.